Hi and welcome back to Roger's Kitchen. Today I am cooking a dish called cabbage and ribs. You will need about one pound of your country style pork ribs. You can also substitute that for your pork spare ribs. Um, you'll also need one medium head of cabbage. I like to take out the outer uh, leaves of the cabbage because they're usually wilted by the time I get it. Um, you want to cut the cabbage in half um, and then you want to uh, cut your cabbage in quarters. Uh, now I don't like that middle core part, it's kind of bitter, so I kind of cut that out. Um, I can use it for a stock later on, but um, I don't use it for this dish. Um, and I probably won't use the other half, but I'm going to cut it anyway, just in case I do. So again, I'll remove that bitter core and uh, on both of those pieces. Um, and then the next item that I need is the onion. I will cut the onion in half. Now I've learned to not cut the uh, root off of the onion because that'll actually make you tear up so uh, don't cut that and uh, you'll you'll save yourself from crying um, I'll go ahead and peel the onion and then I'm going to cut the onions into a wedge not a thin wedge like you would in a salad but a thicker wedge uh, so once I get that done I'm gonna put that in a bowl and I am uh, gonna set that aside uh, for a little bit um, I'm work on the meat now I'm gonna layer it in the pot uh, one layer I don't want to overcrowd it um, and then I'm going to add some water to it. The water is just barely enough to cover the, the meat. So maybe a quarter, maybe even less than that, a quarter of an inch or maybe less than that. Um, and then I'm gonna add some salt, two teaspoons of salt uh, go into the pot with the pork. And I'm gonna turn the, high, the heat on to about medium high heat. Um, I'm gonna let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, after about 20 minutes, there's gonna be a fat layer that uh, produces. I'm going to skim that off uh, I don't like that in my dish. Uh, you can keep it. It doesn't affect the taste or the texture. I just don't like it. So once I get that removed, I'm going to layer in the onion. Don't don't spin, uh, don't uh, stir in the onion. Just layer it in, and then I will add uh, two more teaspoons of salt. And I'm going to cook this on medium heat. Now this is where the magic happens uh, by cooking it for about 30 to 45 minutes and just letting it cook and letting it uh, stew together. After about uh, 45 minutes, uh, you'll have a beautiful uh, looking dish like this uh, where the onion is already wilted and, and the flavors have been pulled out and in, in the water and the pork has been absorbing uh, the salt and the, and the onion. So at this point, you want to uh, peel the cabbage and you want to layer them again on top of the uh, pork and onion. You don't want to uh, stir it in. Um, and of course, on top of that, uh, add another teaspoon of salt. And then let the cabbage uh, steam for about 10, 15 minutes. After about 10 to 15 minutes, you get a uh, cooked cabbage. It's cooked to al dente. If you like it uh, more quick than that, cook it longer. Um, that's about it. So I put it on a plate of a bed of rice. And then the only other item I put on there, maybe if I want to, is a soy sauce. And so there you go, cabbage and ribs on a bed of rice. You can always catch me on Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And always, enjoy!